On September 30th, 2015, Apple released their latest El Capitan operating system. That's OS X 10.11. And today's video is going to be about how to make the external drive uh, as a bootable installer drive. You can use one of these data stick pros from Centron. Uh, the capacity is eight gigabytes and you're going to need about six and a half gigabytes uh, to be put onto this stick here so that if you're ever having trouble with your Mac and you want to boot from this uh, operating system you can boot from here uh, and reinstall your El Capitan so that you can get everything working or say you want a clean install of the operating system because normally when you go to the App Store and you download the newest version of their operating system you download it into the applications folder like in here and you click on it you install it over your older version of the operating system uh, and you get a lot of stuff that is left behind taking up space on your hard drive I have a one terabyte hard drive inter internal and I only have 500 gigs available no matter how much I erase pictures and and all that because when you do editing a lot of times all the media gets copied into a folder deep into the uh, the hard drive so you want a nice clean install and you want to be able to boot in case you're ever having trouble and today I'm going to show you how to do that so normally you just go ahead download uh, the installer the El Capitan installer and you'll see it here in the applications folder now there's also another piece of software that I want to tell you about. Uh, normally you have to make an installer disk. You have to use terminal and you have to put in this certain command. You have to have things in certain folders and it's a little scary uh, to do. So I'm going to show you a very easy way. Uh, it's called Disk Maker. And Disk Maker is available on the, this website here. I'll put the link in the description. And basically you just hit it and you download it and then you drag it into your applications folder and you'll see it here in the applications folder and you just click on it uh, and you'll come up with this little screen right here and if you want to you can if you have downloaded these versions uh, of the operating system you can make a, a bootable installer disk uh, with any one of these but we're going to be using El Capitan because that's what I have in my applications folder. Now before we get started, you don't have to do this, but I like to do this. I have the um, USB thumb drive attached to my USB in my computer, and it's empty right now. I have it named Untitled, but I'm just gonna show you real quick how to do this. You just go into the search, and you type in disk. And you see disk utility, and you open that up, and this window pops open. You pick on the external 8 gigabyte hard um, thumb drive that you have and you hit erase and then you put it as untitled OS X extended journal and GUID partition map and you hit erase it'll go through a couple of steps and it'll erase uh, this uh, thumb drive right here so now all you do is you open up that disk maker app let me just check something real quick and um, yeah you open up the disk maker app and you hit El Capitan and it couldn't be easier uh, so it says here I found a copy of the installer software in this folder applications yeah that's where by default the installer goes for the new operating system if you wish to use this copy use this copy then it says here which kind of disk will you be using well we have the thumb drive attached it's eight gigabytes of your thumb drive and it knows that it's there and we're gonna use it so we use that it's the untitled and that's fine we'll just click here choose this disk and what it's going to do it's going to tell you it's going to erase everything on uh, the thumb drive which expect it to do because you need the whole eight gigabytes uh, slightly less than that um, and then you erase and create the disk and that will create it right on there and that's basically all the steps you have to do so before you continue with erase uh, this disk make sure that anything on this thumb drive that you need to keep that you put it somewhere on an external hard drive or something like that and go through your whole computer get all your pictures off it uh, like with the photos app if you go into pictures 
right here and you copy this onto a large hard drive this is uh, all my pictures I have uh, 249 gigabytes worth of pictures uh, that should always be backed up now you can back it up with time machine or you can just right mouse button click copy paste right into a hard drive that may be attached to your computer um, same thing with Google Photos if you use Google backup uh, you could do that but you know just make sure you go through uh, take note of all the apps that you have on there and make sure you can uh, you know put them on any downloads that you have I have a bunch of movies here and all that stuff you know just go through it all um, it's not gonna erase anything on your hard drive right now uh, because you know you're just making a bootable disk so anything on this uh, disk that you're gonna use make sure you back it up so now we're gonna erase and create this it says the next step will ask for administrative privileges which is basically just your sign-in for your Mac um, it takes a second it's uh, loading up uh, let's close this window now this is absolutely free uh, it beats uh, using terminal and uh, you know, with Apple, they created the Create, create Install Media. Uh, let's close this out too. Uh, and that's a Unix program that they put on, uh, starting with Mavericks, so that you can use Terminal to make a boot drive. So here we have our password that we got to put in. So I'm just going to put my password in. That's the, what I use to sign into my computer. But what it does is it, it dismounts the drive and it starts to prepare the disk. Uh, it couldn't be simpler uh, you don't have to do any terminal uh, when it's all done you have El Capitan right on your thumb drive if you have any trouble pop it in uh, or you can set your um, your startup disk as the thumb drive and it will just boot up into installing uh, El Capitan or two previous versions if you like So when this is all done, it's going to take a while, probably about 15 minutes. Just be patient, let you know it go through its steps. I'm going to fast forward uh, to different uh, screens that show up. And uh, when you're ready, if you want to, you can just power down or hit the restart button. Um, you know, by holding the power button and it'll restart your Mac. And if you hold the option key uh, down at the bottom between control and command, uh, it will boot into a recovery page um, and uh, a startup manager will appear and you can select the thumb drive and just boot right in. It'll erase everything if you like uh, on your computer and give you a fresh clean um, install of Mavericks. And I'm sorry, of El Capitan. It'll give you a clean install of El Capitan and also utilize, uh, give you as much space on your internal hard drive as possible. Uh, and, and that's a good thing because, you know, these hard drives fill up quick. So after it's done, I'm going to show you uh, what to do to uh, boot it up into this thumb drive that you have. So we'll wait, we'll let everything go, and I'll show you how it turns out. Okay, it's done now. Uh, going through, it's copying, and this maker X is preparing desk it's telling you to wait and I think we're all done that's it so it's created our disk here okay. we're all set so it says here your OS X boot disk is ready to use. Reboot your, mess, your Mac and press the option uh, or the Alt key and uh, it starts 
up the disc preferences. So enjoy your disc maker X and that's it. So we can make a donation uh, or we can open up startup disc. You can open up startup disc uh, or you can go into settings and click startup disc uh, here. Uh, startup disc. And it won't show up exactly in the startup disc. So the best way to do this whether your Mac, when your Mac is off, is to turn it on and hit the option key. So, there you have it folks. We have a bootable disk uh, with our installer of El Capitan. Uh, now I'm gonna show you how to restart the computer and boot into it. All right, so I shut the computer off and I have my thumb drive with El Capitan installer on it. And we're gonna go ahead and hit our power button and I'm gonna hold down the option alt key as it starts up and it's gonna go right into your startup on your thumb drive and you're gonna see it here now right there in El Capitan you just choose that and you know you're gonna to hook to your network I'm gonna to hook to mine the check mark here I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi and now you can hit this arrow here and it'll start up um, and give you an option to do a nice clean install right from the thumb drive and now OSX utilities opens up and you can restore from a time machine backup or upgrade and inst or install a new copy of OS X or you can jump to disk utilities and all that stuff so basically just click what you need and go through the steps and that's pretty much it I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next video